Hello everyone, I am Johnson. Today, let's learn how to create a tab bar navigation and layout. Tab bar navigation is a popular design pattern for mobile applications. It provides a convenient and easily accessible way for users to navigate between different sections or features of an app. The tab bar is typically located at the bottom of the screen, making it easily reachable with the user's thumb. Tab bar navigation typically consists of a horizontal bar located at the bottom of the screen, containing a set of tabs or buttons. Each tab represents a different section or feature of the application. When a user taps on a tab, it typically triggers a navigation action that takes them to the corresponding content or functionality. The structure of tab bar navigation is relatively straightforward, with the tab bar serving as the main navigation element. The tabs within the bar are usually visually distinct, often represented by icons or labels to indicate their purpose. The active tab is typically highlighted to provide visual feedback to the user and indicate their current location within the app. Let's now create the tab bar navigation and layout. This navigation will have three tabs, Home, Message, and Me. Drag and drop a rectangle to the bottom of the screen. Change its fill color to white and modify the border style to only have a top border. Next, let's visit the icon website Pictogrammers. Search for Home and choose an icon with a filled style. Copy the SVG code and go back to Axure. Paste the icon and select Convert SVG to Shapes. Then, drag and drop a label and change its name to Home. Add a hotspot as a trigger for the interaction. Return to the icon website and search for message. Choose a message icon, copy the code, and paste it in Axure. Duplicate the label and change its name to message. Return to the icon website. If the me icon is not what we want, try searching for user instead. Once you find the desired icon, such as the account icon, copy its code and paste it in Axure. Change the label to me. After creating the tab bar, we need to link it to web pages using an inline frame. This allows us to avoid creating all the web pages within a single page. Drag and drop an inline frame. Right click and select toggle border. Set its width slightly wider than the screen width so that the scroll bar is not visible when we generate the prototype. Change the page name to Home and create three subpages. Start by adding a Home page. Drag and drop a heading and change its text to Home. Then, use rectangles to represent content. For now, let's directly input text to represent the content. Next, let's create the message page. Use ellipses to represent avatars and thin rectangles to represent message boxes. Follow the same process to create the Me page. Once 
Once the pages are created, let's add interactions. Select the home icon and set its selected style by changing its color to orange. Copy and paste the style to the other icons. Select the home label and set its selected style by changing its color to orange. Copy and paste the style to the other labels. Duplicate the hotspot twice and combine them with the icons and labels to form each tab. Select all the tabs and set them as a selection group. Set the first tab as the default selection. Add a click interaction to the first tab. Select this widget and open the home page in the inline frame. Set interactions for the other two tabs to open their respective pages in the inline frame. Double click the inline frame and link it to the home page. Preview the prototype. When you click on a tab, it should switch to the corresponding page. You may notice that when scrolling up and down, the content at the bottom gets covered. To prevent this, we need to add bottom hotspots to all the referenced pages so that the content is not covered. Once the hotspots are added, preview the prototype again. Now, when scrolling through the pages, the content should display correctly. If you like my video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel.